Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're already an existing subscriber, then welcome back. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that a couple weeks ago, I got a new haircut. So this time around, I didn't cut it shorter. I just put layers in. And these layers have just made my hair look so much fuller and voluminous, and I'm just loving it. So if you do have thin hair or fine hair or hair that you just want to have a bit more body, I definitely highly recommend getting some layers cut in. It just adds a lot more dimension and it makes your hair look fuller. As I said, it's been a couple of weeks since I got my blow dry and I'm sure you can tell it just doesn't look like that anymore. But I'm gonna just try and revamp it at home by myself. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look the same. So in a lot of areas, it has started to frizz up and whatever. I know you guys have seen my hair straight quite a lot and I'm gonna try and like ease off the straightness and do something else. But whilst I have two textures, I just find it really hard to know what to do. I can't do braids because I don't know if you guys know, but I found out that I'm actually allergic to the braids. Like it gives me a reaction, so I can't do braids anymore. And obviously with the two textures of my hair, I can't just leave it like that. So I am finding that straightening my hair is actually really, really helping me in this process. But in the same breath, like I don't wanna keep straightening my hair too much. So I feel like this is the last time I'm gonna probably have my hair straight for a bit. And I'm gonna try and see if twist outs and that kind of stuff was gonna work for me. So like stay tuned for that. So a straightener that I've used for years and I actually really like is this Steam Pod. This is the second version. So it's a Steam Pod 2.0. And I know they now have like a newer version. This old version has like a separate water tank. You put water in here and it travels up this cord and then you get some steam that comes out the straightener. You can see here, that's where the water comes out of and it just gives you more of a sleeker result. I've seen they've got a Steampod 3.0 now and that one doesn't have a separate water tank so it's more convenient. It's just a bit of a handful to use this. The places that I can see are the most bad are the back and the side. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. I don't really wanna be putting the straightener through everywhere especially areas that don't need to be touched because you know I'm trying to not use too much heat so let me just start off by section in the back so I can see it's really just this area here that needs redoing um, the rest is actually fine like as I run my fingers through it actually maybe a little bit here too with this steam pod this part of the water tank it just comes off like that you're meant to use distilled water only. So I bought this from Tesco. Finally enough, like I haven't been using this since I bought it. So I can really see lime scale on my steam pod. I've been using tap water, which obviously has a lot of minerals in it. And that's what causes that. I hope I've not ruined my steam pod. I hope it still works just as fine. And then I have a funnel because it just makes things easier. And I'm gonna pour. Yeah, that's enough. So then you just close that like that. You get the steam pod itself and it just clicks into place and then I'm just going to turn this on it's now on 210 degrees but I think I'm going to take it down to 200 and you're going to see the steam start coming through I don't know if you can see that but it started to steam and it is going to start making a noise soon there you go that's the noise I'm just going to show you how sleek this gets your hair I'm going to take a little section of this back and I'm just going to take it and drag it through Oh, wow! Sorry, I've not used this in so long, so I'm still like, it's a shock to me. Let me just get another section now and do the same. You see this is all fluffy and this has gone afro, right? Oh, I missed you. I really missed this D-Bod. I haven't used it in so long. The good thing about this steam pod, it also has a comb. So you know when you do that, when you straighten your hair, and a lot of people do the chasing method, get your straights and then you chase it through the comb. This already has an inbuilt comb. So it gets you really sleek results, which is just amazing. This feels so soft right now. Okay, and now let me do this side. Wow, so I keep, <laughs> why am I so shocked? I've had this for years, I don't know why I'm acting like this. It's so silky. Yeah, that is that, I've done the back, and then I think I'm just gonna leave the rest. I think the rest is cool, and then work my way up to the top. I feel like this side actually looks okay, so I'm not gonna touch the middle part. I'm just gonna take, it's this front bit here that needs redoing, this part, and the whole of this part needs redoing. Like all of this has gone frizzy, and even like down there. 
and I'm just gonna hold back the thing, the bits that I think are okay. Ow. And then this time when I do it, I'm gonna bend the steam pod round to give that nice like bounce. This, this thing is a joke. I'm gonna just twirl it round and then let it drop. If I was to use a regular straightener, I wouldn't be able to do that. I just struggle. So if you're like me and you find it really hard to get curls or straighteners, this is really gonna work for you. Let me do this one at the back. I should have done that first. I don't know I did it straight. Then I'm just gonna keep going in small sections all the way up. And then before it cools down, you just need to like twist it around your finger. Like that. I completely forgot to put heat protector in, I can't believe I just did that. So I'm gonna quickly spray my Texture Release Thermal Protector. And because this is very oil-based, I can spray it over this and I don't think it's gonna revert my hair. I'm so silly, I can't believe I did that. I'm in a rush, I have things to do today. That's already looking really good. Those are all like the problem areas I think needed like more attention. I'm just gonna let the rest of the hair down now and see what that looks like. I think this bit needs a little bit more. Yeah, that looks so nice and shiny. Just for the sake of it, I'm gonna make this a little bit more curly. I'm gonna also, I think, do this part. So now, the bit that I've been dreading is the edges. Like, these have completely reverted back to my natural state. I can't use the steam pod on my edges because the steam pod is so big and bulky, it doesn't get close enough to your roots. So I'm just gonna switch this off now. I'm gonna reach for my GHDs. Like, these are not something I, like, would say run at your house and buy. I don't know, I think GHDs are a bit overrated, but I do think they're good in terms of, they use ceramic plates, they're probably better for your hair and stuff. The steam pod, I would advise you to go and get it. This, I'd say there's probably better straighteners out there. I am going to just section off the edges. Then I'm gonna get this really small, this really small comb and comb through those edges. And because my edges are so kinky, I'm gonna to need to do some really, really small sections. Edges are very sensitive parts of your hair, so I'm gonna really make sure I've got enough heat protector on them. That's so annoying. You see, these get a lot closer to my root. Ooh, much better. And the same underneath. And I'm just gonna do the same around the whole perimeter of my hair. And you don't need to take the GHDs all the way down your hair shafts, it's literally just the edges. Oh, gorgeous. See, my edges feel a lot sleeker and smoother now. I'm just going to now shake it all about, get the curls to drop, and then I'm just gonna get my parting put in properly. So I think my parting should be about there. Maybe more here. Okay. And that's really about it. And now my hair looks pretty similar to what it did like the first day. So that's really, really cool. So yeah, that's the end of today's video. Today was just like 
really really quick and short mini video just to give you a bit of an insight into how I keep my blow dries lasting longer how I revamp and refresh them when it needs to be done and I do hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's very short and sweet but I hope you enjoyed it again if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please do not forget to do so like this video if you liked it and I shall see you in my next one bye